in in, uh, in this talk, I'm going to talk about the treatment of cervical root injury because cervical root injury it cannot be treated before, and uh, we we'll try to treat it by our surgical technique and also by the application of neurotrophic factors and the fibrin group. Cervical root injury occurs in about 70% of severe bracket factors injury because it affects not only the peripheral nervous system and up, but also the central nervous system. So it is beyond surgical repair and the root will retract for us neurosurgeons to, to let us the impossibility of the repair. In addition, there will be a severe change, severe injury to the spinal cord itself, and the spinal cord will become atrophic with many cystic changes. It is caused by the neuron pain after the surgical root injuries. And uh, one study showed that after C7 spinal nerve root transaction, there will be more than 30% of motor neuron loss and uh, more than 50% of the sensory neuron loss in a few months. So, to treat this lesion, we, we must do two things. First, we, we must put a graft in a, between the, the transecting root and the spinal cord. And we can put sutures in the, in the nerve root, but we cannot put sutures in the spinal cord itself. So we have to try something else. And for the other things, we have to protect the neuron from death. If the neuron dies, nothing happens. So in, in, in our study, we try to put the acidic FGF to increase the neuron survival, and we use the fibrin glue for two objectives. One is to stick the graft with the spinal cord. And secondly, the, we mix the acidic FGF in the fibrin glue. So during, during the, the, the post-operative process, the fibrin glue will degrade. And in the, in the period of degradation, it will release the acidic FGF in a slow fashion. We choose the acidic FGF because it is a normal constituent of the spinal cord and it is, it is present in the motor as well as the sensory neurons. And uh, it is known to be involved in the repair after tissue damage. And it, it is very important for neural survival even during the embryological time. And it can, has been proved to be to promote survival and the sprouting of the cortical spinal tract after spinal cord injuries. So we use SDFGF, we try to enhance the, the, the regeneration of exons in the CNS and uh, we try to enhance the peripheral nerve system into the CNS and uh, because it has been proved to have positive therapeutic effect after spinal cord injuries. And as I have explained, the fibrin glue we used help us to stick the repair nerve with the spinal cord and to find the AFGF and then slowly release during its degradation. So we have published many papers and I want to summarize in my presentation. We transect the C5 and C6 nerve root and, uh, and the repair with an uh, uh, intercostal nerve graft. The one end of the nerve graft is sutured to the severed nerve root and the other end <coughs> is inserted into the spinal cord through a tiny peer incision. And then we put the SDFHF combined with the fibrin group. And uh, we can see that the red has very good recovery of the 
the, the walking and also with the grooming. And to, to check the grooming, we have significant recovery. And you can see here, the, without repair, the rat cannot bear its weight on, on the injured fallen man. And in contrast, the, the repair rat has a good support with the, the, of its own body weight by the injured root. And uh, we, can, we can see a, a rat skin power a significant recovery of the resting power control with the uh, compared with the control group. And to check the motor function, we also check the electromyography, the EMG. You can see in the control group, there's only the denervation wave, the fasciculation. But in the repair group, we can see the action potential. And uh, by using the uh, HRP retrograde external labeling, we see significant improvement in the motor neuron survival rate. And in, in addition to the number of the neurons, the morphology of the neurons is also well preserved. And to check the sensory functions, we check the Mechanical function, the pain by from fry filament, and we check the the temperature sensation by applying the acetone to check the cold sensation. All repair animals has a significant recovery of the sensory functions, and we check the the DRG neuron survival rate. The, the DRG neuron has significant increase in the survival rate compared to the control control group. And we also check the somatosensory evolved potential by stimulation of the median nerve and the recording the evolved potentials in the, in the corresponding sensory cortex. And we can see a well recovery of the somatosensory evolved potential compared to the control group. And these potentials disappear after we retransaction we transacted the nerve graft we put inside. This is to prove that the recovery, the recovery of the sensory function does not come from the correspond called sprouting axons, but comes from the repair axons. Because in the uh, clinical situation, some patients has multiple root transactions. So we don't have enough graft in our body to repair all these nerve roots. So we thought about it. How come, how, what, what's the result if we repair only the ventral root and now not the, the dorsal root? Then we can spare some nerve grafts. And to our surprise, there is good sensory recovery. And by using the HRP visual brain labeling, we can see how the axons comes from the ventral side to the dorsal side. You can see this is the spinal cord, this is the dorsal side, and here's the ventral side. You can see the, these axons comes by two ways to go into the, the dorsal home. One is through the superior position and go into the dorsal home. The other way, it goes directly through the ventral home to the dorsal home. So, so it is very interesting. The AFGF promotes the matching, the matching of the axons to its target. And for, for this stress that is repaired with, with only the ventral root, we can, we can see a good recovery of the breast pain and in addition, a good recovery of the mechanical sensation. We can see that the recovery of mechanical sensation in about two months. And just like the, the picture I showed before, this rat has a very good recovery 
of the somatosensory sensory evolved potentials, which disappeared again after the retransaction. And we know that many patients with surgical root injury suffer not only from the uh, loss of motor and sensory functions, but also from the pain that caused by the nerve injury, the neuropathic pain. And the neuropathic pain comes from the apparent synapse in the, in the spinal cord, partly. So we want to know that how is the result that after our repair. So we, we check the CGRP positive fibers which, which correspond to the pain directly. If, if there is there's abnormal growth of the CGRP fibers, it may cause pain. And we can see that the, after repair, the right size is the, the, the normal size. So the CGRP positive fibers is restricted to the superficial location of the superficial lamina of the dorsal horn. And after repair, after injury, the, the CGRP fibers disappear. But after repair, the CGRP fibers preserved and in only the uh, superficial layer, not in the thick layer, not in the deeper lamina. And we have proved that there is significant difference in the superficial lamina compared to the deep lamina of these CGRP positive fibers. So, so we can know that after the, in the repair with our strategy, we have a re regeneration neuron into the dorsal horn, but these neurons does not have a, a, a abnormal position. It is not, a, they are not apparent. They do not over sprout. So this rat has a good recovery of function, but has no neuropathic pain. But in a clinical situation, most patients has to be repaired after a period of delay, after the injury, and not immediately. So we try to know that if we can delay our repair to one week or three weeks, we prove that a too long delay causes too many neuron death and there's no recovery, but we can delay for one week. You can see that the red, the, the red repair one week after the injury has a significant recovery compared to those repair three weeks later. But in the gait and also in the, the, the web parent when they stand up and also in the uh, grooming. And uh, the, this red shows the red, the red repair one week after the injury has a significant motor neuron survival rate, but not the, the red repair three weeks later. And you can see the sensory recovery in those repair one week after the injury, but not those the repair three weeks later. So, how can we prolong our Okay, okay, I know. So, in a clinical situation, we have to prolong this repair window. So, how can we prolong the repair window to three weeks? We have to do two things. First, we have to reduce the inflammation after the injury because inflammation causes tissue damage, causes neuron loss. Then we have to protect these neurons from pain. So we try to use anti-inflammatory agent in the first week, then use the, the neuroprotective agent from the one week to the, the three weeks. Then we do the same repair and we have the same result. So in contrast to the previous study, we failed the result if the, the repair is done three weeks after the injury, but by this neuroprotection and the anti-inflammation in the early stage, we have a significant recovery of the motor neuron survival 
and uh, uh, significant recovery of the motor function, and it is proved by the reappearance of the uh, actual potential in the electron myography. And to the sensory function, the heat function, the heat sensation, and the cold, sens the cold sensation also recover. And the same with the the same as the study before, we have a good recovery of the uh, somatosensory sensory involved potential. And by CRP, by HRP reservoir labeling, we can we can identify the regenerating sensory axon not only in the spinal cord but also in the brain stem. It proves the, the, the recovery of the sensory functions. And clinically, we have done many cases, and I just want to present two cases. This is a 28-year-old male who has a, a C5 to C8 complete transaction, and it is repaired two years after the injury. This is the preoperative, and you can see that the breast pain is very weak. He cannot, he, he, this is post-operation, he can, he has a, a great fall function of the, the, the biceps and also the wrist extension and breastfeeding. The other case is a C5 and 6 root completion section and we repair after 38 days after the injury. And you can see the result. There's very good function, motor recovery and also you can check to see the muscle mass the risk extension is very good. So in conclusion, we proved that with a proper surgical technique and the proper use of neurotrophic factors, we have converted the uh, uh, in accessible cervical root injury into a treatable condition. In the future, we want to 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 use the the Neuroprotective and the anti inflammation, we will try to help the more chronic cases. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, due to my excellent panel, I'd like to have time for two questions, right? And it was a very interesting uh, presentation, and I see already one, uh, one question. Please stay with us, and the gentleman in the RV. Uh, yes. Okay, that, 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 that is a very good question. I, we didn't try, we didn't try different neurotrophic you know, factors in the clinical situation. We only used the acidic FGF because acidic FGF is currently not the most, the, the strongest neuroprotective agent. And it had, has no apparent effect in inducing pain because such as NGF, NGF induces pain. So we try to improve the motor and the sensory recovery and we try to avoid pain because pain is sometimes more suffering than the loss of functions. Sorry, we, we, we didn't try different doses because we, in a clinical situation, we, we use about 10 micrograms during the operation. And uh, in the red, we use about one to two, one, one micrograms for the red. We didn't try different doses. Maybe we have to try it later. Thank you for your advice. Yes, we do mix the SDF SDF with the glue. Not cross mix. No. Thank you. Thank you.
we mix in the glue and apply in a, a surgical field.